Now the warrior robots in disguise are in their own action-packed Transformer comic on sale now from Marvel Comics. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for this special video showcase, we're going to once again be returning to the Marvel UK Transformers comic. What we're going to do for the first couple of minutes or so is a very quick review, flicking from cover to cover, stopping at anything that's interesting like letters, pages and adverts. After that, we'll come back to the beginning, we'll zoom in for you, go nice and slow, and give you the opportunity, if you'd like to, to read the comic for yourselves. As you can see, we're up to issue 172. This originally came out on the 2nd of July 1988, and it costs 35 pence. This is another UK story that we're just starting. So this is part one, written by Simon Furman. And what we've got at the moment is Scourge and Cyclonus, I suppose, basically just having fun with some F-14 fighter jets. Um, but what's interesting in this particular story is they've continued off from where they had the Headmasters and Target Masters, because as you'll see in a second, we've got Fracas and of course we've got Nightstick actually piloting them. Um, literally they waste about six pages of them guys just messing around we've got an advert there for craft titans craft is a cheese and of course everybody in america will know what craft is um i don't know what that's about though you can have a read of that if you want then at the same time the wreckers are about to come to earth because of course the main goal is to stop galvatron we also find out that the reason why cyclonus and scourge are on earth as well is because they've made a deal with shockwave to also go after galvatron so here is Cyclonus and Scourge who've arranged to meet him. You can see there's Galvatron in his pistol form before transforming into his robot. Um, and this is where, as I say, they're demanding that they basically give them back the time machine because they want to jump back in time. Galvatron doesn't realise that these are the target masters and he's just about to go into combat with them when the Autobots show up through their time gate as well. And that's as far as we've got so far. So the letters pages are here for people who want to read it. I'm gonna lift this up. You can pause it now and have a read of them. And the ones that you're missing is just that one on the top there. So what we've got now is this is the first time I've seen an advert for the Power Masters in these particular comics. And as you can see, we've got the three Autobots and the couple of Decepticons. Interestingly enough, there's no double dealer there. So we can have a quick look at that. And then we've got the B story, which of course is Action Force, also known as G.I. Joe in the rest of the world. And very quickly, there's a combat column strip at the back. And pause and you can read that if you want. We've got an advert for next week's issue. And the advert on the back again is for Weetabix, which is another breakfast cereal. I'm going to zoom this in for you now. You may need to use your pause button. I'd strongly recommend muting or turning down the volume because there's probably going to be some background noise, but you can read the comic for yourselves, guys. Here we go.
Okay, guys, this concludes issue 172. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.